<laughs> Actually, you're disappointed. Come on, tell me. I'm not disappointed. It, Richard has left me on my own, and who did I think to get? David Cassidy. Mm. David Cassidy. Well, um, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing here, um, but we're going to discuss some of that, um, aren't we? You love it. It's Sunday morning. You couldn't be in a <laughs> what better am I out place. Of my mind? You're tired. I'm You've tired. been working extremely hard in England. Excuse me, Porter, my bags. <laughs> um, I'm actually uh, heading off for the airport this afternoon, so I thought it might be a nice way to say goodbye to the great British Isles, <laughs> where I've been for the last uh, seven, eight, nine weeks. It's been great being here. You've you know. been doing a lot of work. Haven't a lot of work, you? yeah. And the show's good. gone really well. Yeah, Blood Brothers. I closed last night. Been yeah. reading about it. Yeah, it's been really good. I didn't get to see it <laughs> because you didn't send me a no, ticket. No, come on. You didn't. You, did, you know, you did this whole shuffle with me. Oh, you know, I'd love to, but unfortunately, <laughs> I had to get my hat blocked. You know. No, I was washing yeah. my hair that night. I yeah. just knew it. I knew it. My nails wouldn't dry. Yes, um, it's you'll pain. come and see. I, I don't think I'm. I'm going to actually be doing Blood Brothers again here in the West End. But, but you'll be back. I'll be back. In fact, I'm going back to. Um, I'm going back to New York to do some. Uh, finish my recording, February, March, April. And then uh, record should be out towards the end of the summer in America. And then who knows? And then I we hope. can get you to perform on VH1. Yeah. Not only can you sit oh, on I'd the sofa, you I'd can love perform. to do that. Can we sign me up to do that now? And can, can I, I do some finger clicking in the back? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Actually, quite good at that. Quite good at that. <laughs> in those boots, you know, we could put put the old ABBA thing together. Some doo wops and all that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Mini skirts, the boots. Anyway, anyway hey. we're going to be uh, we're going to be having a little bit of fun, and I hope you'll be uh, joining us. Um, we're going to have a giggle. Yeah, we'll have a little giggle. And together. coming up, coming up, wow, we've got a mad frenzy of artists. Well, you've got Madonna, Michael Jackson, George Michael, Kraftwerk, Bob Marley, the Small Faces, Whoopee, wow, mm. the Rolling Stones, the Doobie Brothers, and of course, the Beatles and uh, the Beatles, the, the Beatles. Yeah. <laughs> and that's the original version, by the way. Mm. And also mm. one of your mates, Nick Haywood. Yeah. In fact, Nick and I um, were actually signed to the same publishers back in 1985 when I did Last Ooh. Kiss and all that. And um, Nick and I became kind of pals around that time. So catching a, up I'm on old fan. times. I'm a, well, yeah, Ooh. I guess sort of. Uh, um, I guess he'll probably remember my name. Anyway, <laughs> Nick's going to be joining us um, uh, at 10:45 ish. At 10:45 ish, yeah. Ish. And uh, not, uh, it's the new Haircut 100 uh, incarnation, is it not? Anyway. Uh, He's looking good. He's got muscles. He has got muscles. Come on. This, he He's has. not doing that gym thing, is he? Well, I, I, I guess I'll be moving next to Jules here. <laughs> you can yeah. compare my muscles. Yeah. Can I get the pump up suit, the old Schwarzenegger <laughs> suit for uh, the Nick interview? Yeah. We're getting, we're to get us into that little taster for Nick Haywood, we're going to have a bit of Haircut 100. And this is a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. Great video that was directed by Jean Baptiste Mondino. That was Human Nature. Now we still got David Cassidy here. <laughs> still. Still, and he's going to be with us all morning, which I like. Indeed, I like. this is Sunday brunch on VH1. And now I got to tell you, there's a there's a song that has stuck in my head for about 30 years. I'm probably the only years. person watching this that would remember the original <laughs> version. And in fact, this is it. I have never seen the video, but. This song is absolutely brilliant. It, it's, it's a fabulous so song. Haunting. Oh. And I never knew who the artist was. It is Astrid Gilberto. I think that's how you pronounce it. Anyway, yeah. the record I think was released in 1963, I'm, I'm guessing. Ooh, ooh. Something like that. that and I had no idea, of course, uh, they had no idea they were going to make a video out of it and we'd be playing it in 1996. But so this it, is the original video? I believe it is. Wow. And we're going to see it right now. You're going to see it right now. It's The Girl from Ipanema. <laughs> Tall and thin and young and lovely, the girl from Ipanema goes walking. Michael Jackson there, and the track that won the race to the top of the UK charts on Christmas Day. Good As on if you, he Michael. It. <laughs> As if he needed it, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Now, if you want to stay warm on those long winter's evenings, my advice is to find a room packed with hot, sweaty dancing people and dive right on in there for an hour or two. But here's David, who knows about such things, to tell you where to do it near you. <laughs> yeah, the hot, sweaty part. <laughs> the Mavericks get rocking in Wolverhampton this January. They take to the stage on Wednesday the 10th. London's Shepherd's Bush Empire becomes home for Thursday the 25th and Friday the 26th. Monday the 29th sees the band up at Manchester University. And Wednesday the 31st, they travel to Scotland to play the Glasgow Royal Concert <laughs> Hall. Tori Amos continues her UK tour. The Regent plays host in Ipswich on the 23rd, moving on to Sheffield City Hall on Wednesday the 24th. The Apollo in Manchester takes over on the 25th, Saturday the 27th. It's the Usher Hall in Edinburgh. And finally, the Aberdeen capital on Sunday the 28th. 
Looking ahead to April, Meatloaf enters the UK to play a series of gigs at London's Wembley Arena. And the dates are Tuesday the 16th, Wednesday the 17th, Monday the 29th, and Tuesday the 30th. And for all ticket information, contact First Call on 090-661066. So, Jules, is there <laughs> anything or anyone... Anyone. <laughs> ...that you fancy this week? I've never seen Meatloaf, mm. and I wouldn't mind seeing Meatloaf. Well, there's been some talk about you two, so... <laughs> <laughs> but he's loud, isn't he? He's loud. Oh. He's a loud old boy, yeah. I don't know. I take my earplugs along, I think. I have to say, you said Scotland, Scotland. perfectly. Thank you very much. Perfectly. Uh, you know, it's, uh, mm. it's hanging out in uh, Liverpool for the last uh, month or so at the Phoenix Theatre. You know, hanging out uh, here. Uh, once I get back to America, of course, it'll be Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, <laughs> Scotland. But you can't help picking up accents, though, can you? It's, uh, it's, hard, it's hard for me because I'm, I'm sort of halfway, as you can hear a little bit. Uh, when you when you have to read as much and be in in the place, uh, meaning Liverpool, and you're around as many scouts, <laughs> and I do, nah, you know, I'm I'm sort of halfway. People people have said to me after the show, and they'll come and and meet with me, and they'll say, "Are you, who are you yet? Are you him yet? Are you oh. back yet?" You know, so it's been. Uh, it's been great, and um, it's good fun. Yeah, I've had a great time. Well, you'll be back. You'll be back I shall. to do I this do show. Bridge. You're going to do, do the bridge. You're talking the bridge. of the bridge. Yeah. Oh yes, yeah. we're going to have a bit of Gino Washington. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's see Gino. Bit of Gino Washington. Mm -hmm. This is um, taken from the bridge, and uh, remember, bridges on Saturdays at five o'clock and repeated Sunday nights at eight thirty. And you can see top bands play laid-back, stripped-down versions of their hits. And uh, as I said, this is a bit of Gino Washington. Yes. Wasn't that fantastic? Gino, I thought Gino's that was okay great. In my book, baby. He can, <laughs> he can sing the blues, boy. Now wow. you know what to do when you come back on the bridge. Gotta do right? that. Gotta do the you bridge. Do I'm it. gonna bring Gino on with me, and we do. Wow. And remember, I'm doing the finger clicks in the back. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing. In the boots in the ministry. <laughs> exactly. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Moving on, because we got music, music everywhere. This is Quincy Jones. Oh, I love this track. This is teamed up with Ray Charles, and I'll be good to you. Ah, yes, that were Mariah Carey. <laughs> and the sweet, sweet voices of Boys the Men singing One Sweet Day. Oh, you, you're getting this accent perfectly. Yeah, I'm, I'm so impressed, yeah. so impressed. I know. It's, it's me day job. You know, <laughs> this will be me day job. Actually, when I go back to America, I'm going to do... Um, I'm gonna do some VH1. Uh, I did a I did a series in uh, America. But we'll I talk about that. I remember you saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I did. Uh, I did a show for uh, for them called Eight Track Flashback, which is really. It's actually a very very good uh, in depth look at the 70s as a decade. Oh. The style, the politics, and some of the events, and we'd had a little bit of fun doing You'll it. You'll have to give us some ideas, won't you? <laughs> hey, yeah. now, if you're a UB40 fan, then pay attention. Which because we know she is. Uh, I'm a huge fan. Then later on today, at 4 o'clock, uh, Paul King <laughs> talks in depth with the band. Don't make me laugh, David, mm -hmm. otherwise you'll get a smack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, he's going to be talking in depth with the band, past, present, and future, from their humble beginnings to their multi, multi-million dollar business career. And now to wet your palate, here's just a little taster for you. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so don't miss it with uh, VH1 to 1 with UB40 this afternoon at yeah. 4 p.m. Yeah. Now on the show, and this is the long-awaited new single from an old pal of mine, George Michael. Hey, a pal, is he? Yeah, well, when we did, did a... Wear, come actually, on, you know everybody, David. <laughs> Spill the beans. Well, there's a reason I'm here today. because <laughs> I know four people in the world, and they're all... We're, we're seeing <laughs> clips of theirs. Um, he sang background on a record I made back in 85 called uh, Last Kiss. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, here's, here's the long-awaited uh, new clip from George Michael. It's called Jesus to a Child. It's cappuccino time here on VH1. Also, a little bit of Tina Turner there with steamy windows. Yes, indeed, and Nick Haywood is hanging out in our backstage in our extremely posh VIP-only luxury green room. I know that because, of You've course, been there. I've been a guest I'm here. not allowed in there. I'm, I, no. I'm not a VIP well, guest. Well, I'm not, not so sure about that now. Come on, Jules. <laughs> anyway, he's ready and raring to share one of those lovely sofas with us. Actually, probably more with you. No, you're coming here, David. Oh. Yeah, you're maybe. coming right here. Well, uh, there will be some talk about that, too. Plus, <laughs> music from Deep Forest, Bob Marley, the Small Faces, the Rolling Stones, the Beatles, 
my favorites. And UB40, Jules. More UB40, eh? Yeah. More UB40. Wow, Jules we're going to get band. a lot of that this month, folks, I'm yeah. afraid. But anyway, first, an excellent new single from a man previously best known as the vocalist of the Blow Monkeys. Remember this? It's Dr. Robert and Circular Key. So welcome back to Sunday Brunch. I'm David Cassidy, and you just saw Deep Forest with Bohem. I think they know you're David Cassidy, actually. <laughs> I just get that here. I'm just reading the copy. Just, Come just, on. Just plug it your way. I'm doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'm the insignificant one here. I'm Jules Colling, oh, yeah. relaxing on a Sunday morning. And, and boys, <laughs> she's all she's cracked up to be. <laughs> <laughs> I won't say anything about you, David. Mm. Oh! Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, we got another fab person on the sofa here because uh, another big I'm star. Not fab. Yes, you are. You're I'm fab. <clears throat> oh, look, you've blown it. It's not, Nick Haywood. Talk it's... about town, Nick. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> it is Nick Haywood here, right here. Right here. How are you doing? Not bad. How yeah. Are you? All right. Yes. Yeah. Long time no see. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So just long these time. two are mates. Just to sort of drop the hint. Well, <laughs> yeah. In, in the showbiz quote, mates. Uh, <laughs> now I am the insignificant no, one. I'll on. just sort of back off, come shall on. I? It's been. Uh, Almost 10 years since uh, Morrison Leahy, eh? Yeah. And Warning Sign, I think, was the last thing uh, I remember you doing. God. I love that record. Really? I, yeah, I still... Oh, you, <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm I, surprised that anybody likes anything no. that I've done, actually. How dare you say that? Because <laughs> <laughs> everything I've done is useless. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Until this latest single. Uh, except for <laughs> my newest release, which we're going to be talking about. i tell you what I really did love was Kite. Mm. All right, yeah. I really like that. L yeah, actually, that's Should the be... other one I liked. Yeah, no, it was a really nice song. We should hear it, people. Kite. But hear this one as well. So the, uh, <laughs> you just came back from um, America. Is that true? You were out over there with K-Rock doing uh, some live dates? Yeah. yeah. Last, last year. How um, was it? Brilliant. Yeah? Really, really good. Yeah, good for you? Definitely. Lots uh, of gigs, was it? Uh, loads. I mean, so many that I've kind of... Um, Can we explain K-Rock first? Because yeah, yeah, sure. Me being the... Um, well, Durr. let's let Nick explain what it was in, in a, par a part of it. There were a bunch of alternative, what we now call... Them. Silly, uh, alternative acts yeah. um, playing live and touring around. It's silly because alternative it. means just an alternative to, to I don't know Michael what. Bolton or something. I guess, or, yeah. Uh, don't knock Michael Bolton. No, no, no. Please, no. Not, uh, don't knock Michael Bolton. No, 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 we're not knocking him. I can't <laughs> fancy Michael Bolton. So <laughs> <laughs> There's been some talk about that oh, too. Oh, at least I'm not the only one. <laughs> well, you know. So I'm a housewife. Tell us about the, <laughs> tell us about the uh, the tour. I'm trying to do my best uh, impression of uh, how um, to be an interviewer here. Well, I mean, if if the if the Beatles were around today, they'd be an alternative band. Right, that's, that's right. It, isn't it, really? Yeah. It means songs, you mm -hmm. know. But Bacharach now is being touted as, you know, he could be alternative Whoa. if he was around now. It's kind of... I, I, I just don't, I don't understand alternative. Uh, I don't understand the, the term alternative anymore because it's really mainstream and uh, uh, good music is good music any way you play it. And um, I, I, they sent over a CD of, the, 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 of Rollerblade. And um, because I live in a crap flat here and I don't have a CD player, I haven't heard it. Ooh. But we're going to play in a bit uh, a little bit of some of the, the new stuff. Oh, yeah. Wonderful. But um, we want to go back to the Beatles. Yeah. Because yeah. the Beatles favorite band or what? Is it just at the moment? Um, they've always been my uh, biggest influence, I must admit. You know? yeah. But I had to be a closet Beatles fan. A closet. Uh, <laughs> because? Well, because it wasn't great to... Uh, uh, there were certain times uh, uh, I don't know, through the 80s, where if you, if you did like Beatles' way, the way they wrote and, and guitars and things, that it really was a kiss of death. Really? So. But now it's cool to like the Beatles, isn't it? Sort of. It's everything great yeah, it's is cyclical. If it, could, if it had an impact and had style and it had, uh, you know, quality is quality and great songs will survive. And certainly, uh, um, a lot of people don't realize in the beginning, because uh, I'm probably the only guy here old enough to remember them when they broke, they did a lot of covers. And they did their own versions. The Isley Brothers, in fact, did the the video you selected was Twist and Shout, and it was a cover of an Isley Brothers uh, record. And in, in I think '63. I never knew that. Yeah. I never knew that. Should and we have did, a t should we have? Yeah, should we have a listen? A bit of Beatles, watch. and this is Twist and Shout. <laughs> I loved fans. it. I loved it. Not the screaming <laughs> part, but twist and shout. That you was can the hardly hear it though, with all the screaming. You must have been used to that, and you must have been used to that, weren't you? Well, uh, you ah. never get used to that. <laughs> anyway, we're old housewives. Uh, we are, of course, going to continue. We're going to play Nick's new uh, uh, new single and new video at the end of the program later on, of course. And more chat. And him. more chit chat. Nick's going to stick around. So you stick around with us. Absolutely. Well, then we got actually going to try a bit of a Misha Paris. I think we're going to have next. Yeah. Your wife knows that. 
Well, uh, she wrote uh, one of her early hits, which of course has escaped me now. Just because I'm went brain right dead. over his head. Um, but Misha, it's not this one. Misha Paris. This is Misha Paris with My One Temptation. And the Whalers there with the redemption song. Yes, indeed. Nick Hayward is still with us on Sunday brunch, and we'll be chatting more shortly, but not before the gorgeous Jules <laughs> <laughs> gives you the lowdown and the high down on what's happening in your area I've over got the a next hot few flash now. <laughs> Ooh, on VH1's Billboard. Well, here goes. The Ice Fantasia Tour skates off to Guernsey on the 11th of January. They'll be there until the 14th at the Beau Séjour Auditorium. Now, tickets for adults are £8. For children, it's £5. And to find out when the production comes near you, all you've got to do is call this number. It's 01481 728591. Now, if you're a bit of an antiques fan, then the Kensington Town Hall is the place for you. From the 11th, there'll be 90 exhibitors displaying a piece of history for sale. Now, admission for that is £4. Also, if you fancy a touch of basketball, yeah. then check out the Birmingham NEC on the 13th of January. Mm. And there are going to be 13 teams from around the country to compete for the 7-Up Trophy. Mm. Kickoff is at 7.15 and prices range from £6 to £10. Mm. That's it for the VH1 Brunch billboard. Yes, hey. indeed. Well, thank you for all of that. Well, it's no problem at all. I, I, I want fantasia. that basketball thing at the NEC. Are you into skating, Nick? Uh, <clears throat> no. no. I might, I'd like, actually, um, uh, there's a skating place near me, a place called the Spectrum. Uh -huh. oh. And uh, ice skating. Not the one in door. Philadelphia. The Spectrum in Philadelphia. <laughs> no, but that is mm. massive, Sorry. isn't it? That's, That's not just outside of London, is it? No, no. it's not exactly just outside of London. So <laughs> tell me something. What do you normally do on a Sunday? Uh, well, I always like to have the perfect Sunday and end up never doing it, you know. Mm. I've got this idealistic Slubbing. vision. Yeah. <laughs> you know. But I, I, I go up to London, sell the big issue. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on, come on, come on. You like and to I cook? go home again. You like to cook? <clears throat> do a bit of dusting. Or was that, was that a wind-up? Or do you really seriously? Sometimes I, I go and buy it. <laughs> oh, you do the shopping, you yeah. do the shopping. You buy it and warm it. Yeah, yeah I've cooked it up for I you. I started yeah. doing shopping on a Sunday, actually. Yeah. But that's, that's quite good. Cause Boy. It's, it's quite but it's interesting. Like so life you lead, Nick. on a Sunday, doesn't it? Push your trolley around. Yeah. I can just picture it, actually. <laughs> yeah. Look, I'm normally really hungry by But really, time. folks, he's just a normal, <laughs> down-to-earth guy. <laughs> <laughs> Pushing the trolley around. Yeah. It has um, to be done. These duties have to be done, don't they? Definitely. It? Yeah. Definitely. I the, like that. I the like thing that. About, the thing about, as an American, you come over... Oh, I come over here. Not you come over here. You live here. Um, <laughs> I come over here, and we're so geared to Sunday being... Sunday's like Saturday. It's a big day, you know. It's a weekend day. Mm -hmm. Sunday in England, although it's a little... Now shops are open. The first time I came here, everything was shut. Absolutely. So I, I went through like, well, what do you guys do? Well, we day spend, of rest. We spend five hours having lunch. Yeah. I didn't yeah. get it, you know. Read the papers. I'm into it now, though, of course. Walk the dog. Yeah. 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 It sure. has to be done, doesn't it? Definitely. Yeah. It does have to be done. Um, I always think that uh, it's, it's really nice to, uh, to just do nothing. Yeah. You yeah. have to have days like that. It's, yeah. the, it's your chill out day, you see. <laughs> You're doing well, Nick. This is good. <laughs> nothing. Yeah. I you have to have say days. what I really did. Kind of like I've had years where I've done absolutely head. nothing. Oh, oh. Come on. Oh. Come on, come on. This is a really corny link to the next song. <laughs> yeah. We're talking about nothing, but this is all or nothing. It's a classic clip from the Small Faces, but that's coming up in a minute. But first, we've got Big Sandy and his Fly Right Boys. This is supposed to be great. I've never seen it, but this is My Sinful Days Are Over. Oh, mm. yeah? Well. Ah, that's the Stones. Like Stones. A, Stones. <laughs> yeah. You do it much better, right? <laughs> like Good a Rolling Stones. <laughs> the old Bob Dylan. There's another cover act. Huh? What's yeah, that? but the perfect cover for them to do. Absolutely. The perfect cover. Absolutely right. I can't believe you've never seen the Rolling Stones play. No, them. I've never seen them. Oh, you've Bloody never good. seen them. Yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd love yeah. to see them as well. Yeah, really good. They're going on tour, I understand, next month. Yeah, yeah, they are. They're, they're going back out on the road again. Yeah. And I'm, I don't know whether they'll be playing England. They Stones! Sorry, it just came to me again. <laughs> <laughs> they'll be doing that for the rest of the morning here. When are we going to see you back out on the road? Here. A uh, couple of weeks. Yeah. Oh, yeah end, of, end of January, I think. Tell oh, us. Oh. Where? I start off in Dublin and Belfast, which I've never been to. Great. I'm really looking forward to. Mm -hmm. And then it's Glasgow, Liverpool, you know. Mm. Here I'm playing Dingles, I think, somewhere. Which sounds like Dingle, doesn't it? <laughs> I always thought that. I wasn't going to go there. Um, <laughs> dingle? Yeah. That's, that's what it is. Yeah, no, sorry. I always thought. <laughs> I must have been in Philadelphia. It's these quaint, <laughs> quaint little names. So, again, how long are you going to tour for? Uh, 
literally, I think it's just two weeks. I haven't really got, um, I haven't really looked at it too closely yet. You're just yet. so casual about it, don't you? I'll do this. No, I'm just so that. late and so kind of, <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. You, got, you had a great Last midweek minute. this week. Uh, the single's just out this week. Yep. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, I hope it's a, hope it's a big record for you. Never know. Yeah. yeah, you never, never know. know. I think it will be. I yeah. think it will be. <laughs> Casey Kasem. Yeah, absolutely. Can, can we have a clip of the video, please? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Did you bring it in it. for us? I, I did, actually. Yeah, Do you want to tell us a little bit about this particular song? Uh, well, this particular song is called uh, Rollerblade, and um, everybody rollerblades in America. Yeah, they do. You know. Except and me. It's quite frightening, though, because they're always coming at you from everywhere. Death wish. Hit you. Grabbing hold of cars. You know, <laughs> it's they do a dangerous it down, yeah. down, right down, you know, Broadway and, and 7th Avenue, and they're dra grabbing onto lorries and things. You're absolutely yeah. right. It's mad, and they're, you know, maniacs. Don't they have accidents? Or they're not? Oh, yeah, it's very we dangerous. We had a nasty one here, didn't we? Yeah. I, I read something as highest percentage of, of the deaths of people over 18 or something in the last six months. Well, let's not get morbid because we're no. going to watch a bit of this no, video. No, 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 of course not. This is Rollerblade, it's fab. Big chunk of that. I'm good disappointed sounding. you went rollerblading. Then. No, no. Very good song. Ugh. I wanted a giraffe in the video as well. A giraffe. Mm. Where's Every the video, I always <laughs> say, they say, Where do you, "What do you want to do for the video this time?" And I just say, "Mauritius, always, you know, or somewhere." Foreign. Now that's quite nice. Uh, and then they never, they go, mm, right, yeah. "No." <laughs> and then you say, "Well, I'd like exploding." Exploding giraffes, giraffes swimming pools, <laughs> um, oil rigs, anything, you know. But it just doesn't happen. <laughs> no, and then you just do a performance video like that with your guitar. That's like really great. I really enjoyed that. I have good. to tell you something. I, I like the song a lot. And um, I, I, I think that, you know, when, you, when you're choosing a, a theme or an idea for something, I, I love the idea of giving your input as the artist, you know. And the, the last time I did, my, I made a video, they said, what do you want to do at the location? And I said, the, I don't know, I mean, uh, how about, you know, some island, like, you know, let's go where we were talking about Martinique or... Mystique. Mystique. Yeah. And uh, they sent me to Brixton, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's quite... Cool. You, you know, yeah. your input obviously was important in that, <laughs> that last minute. <laughs> that was East Ham, I think. Was it? East yeah. Ham, yeah. That's so exotic, isn't it? <laughs> exotic, so exotic guy you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, I got to tell you, I, I thought as I was watching it... Um, there were some little shadows of rollerbladers in there, weren't there? Yeah, there were. Yeah? Yeah, I got them in there in the end. <laughs> One way or another. I just like being really obvious. There's got to be some videos. significance to the title of the song, isn't there? Yeah. So what's, um, after the tour, what's the plan then? Is it more touring or...? Shopping. 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 <laughs> Chicken. Uh, Chicken, yeah. <laughs> Cooking. I might, um, I might just, you know, carry on touring, actually. Yeah. You because know. this single's going to, you know, you were saying really good happen. midweek. It's going to happen mm. in Yeah. It, are you gonna? Is it simultaneous re released in America as well? No, in fact, uh, uh, it hasn't been yet. It's mm -hmm. probably going to be March. Right. So, oh, so you two here, and then oh. and then go over to America, presumably if it's successful. And yeah, yeah, great. I yeah, look forward to just, seeing you over there. I mean, you know, you come to New York. Making the, the the records and things is just a facility for touring. Sure. You know? Definitely. Yeah, if you like to play, as you mm. very well do. Horrible if you don't like to play. I know lots of people that really hate playing. Where, where, where were you writing all this material, this latest material, in England or...? Yeah, I did it. Uh, <coughs> I came back from the last tour in America and then uh, it, it was about like a month of, of coming back. I had like a month to record, <laughs> write, write the, the album. The whole yeah. album and yeah. record it? Wow. Yeah. Record it. I've recorded it for a couple of months in the summer after that. But, um, so it literally is like a month out of my life, I, I felt, at that time. God. Yeah, I wish I could, tell me, give me the secret, because it takes me like six months just to get to the point where I feel comfortable with the songs enough to record it. Do you think, as we worked together or around the same time with the same publishers as writers uh, in the mid-80s, do you think with the technology as it's come far, far, further and further and further, that it has facilitated you as a writer, or do you think it's slowed you down? Well, I, I have the same situation. I have a cassette player yeah. that's barely alive. Right. <laughs> you know, it, it goes, makes horrible sounds and it's horrible, but I've got an acoustic guitar and right. I sing the tune into that. Right. And that's if it. If it sounds good on that, then I suppose... Well, then, yeah, and that's, that's how you yeah. write. That, that's exactly how I write. But and then recording. I, well, the again... Technology I, has slowed you down, hasn't it? Um, I, I just don't like it, really. Yeah. I mean, I still Too go in there and try to get a good drum sound, right. good guitar sound, good vocal sound try and make it as lively as possible and and that's that that can take a while yeah. but i don't i'm not interested in the in the technology oh i'm glad to hear that yeah you know well i don't care whether it's in tune in in keep time keep it to or real music the thing. 
yeah. yeah. And yeah. always always will be, I think, you know. Mm. I, yeah. I just find that if I'm beyond the, the initial writing, I do it pretty much the same way you do with a cassette recorder. It, I know some writers who do very, very well with the technology and, and using what's there and available to you in a way that kind of intimidates me. It gets me away from the thing, which is the song. And uh, I've got to say, Rollerblades is a very good song. Mm, that is. Good luck with it. Thanks very much. I shall uh, look forward to seeing what's in the charts later on today. <coughs> yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. look the forward to seeing The midweek was number one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Knocked up Michael Jackson just like that. Just like as that. As real as he's always been. Thank you very much for coming in today. You My know, pleasure. <coughs> speaking of organic and uh, playing into a cassette and with your guitar, what probably my highlight of my entire musical creative life was I spent a, a very uh, mad drunken evening with John Lennon in 1975, New Year's Eve, in fact. You would never get drunk. Uh, you would never. Well, I, it was in my past life, you know. Don't scar don't that image. That. How dare you? And he, at the time, was a, a little out of his head. He was making the rock and roll album at the time with Phil Spector in Los Angeles. And he came over to my house about 1 o'clock in the morning, and we pulled out couple of acoustic guitars and I started of course wanting to play all Beatles songs because they were my heroes and I retaught him how to play a couple of them and one of which is in fact the next video which we're gonna see which was the first single Ooh. in America and I got to sing all of Paul's parts uh, and to teach this guy who you know I learned all the chords and everything about playing guitar when I was 13 um, to reteach him the song was really eerie. Ooh. Drunk. <laughs> anyway, yeah. here is one of my favorite songs of all time. It is uh, probably one of yours, too. I want to hold your hand in the Beatles. <laughs> That's all, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> I'm afraid that is all. Uh, morning's just about done, isn't it? I know. And with it, my excuse for being here. Oh, uh, do you have to? Come well, on. Come on, twist my arm. I've got to put up with on. Richard. I can't believe it. He's been away for a dirty weekend. Yes, he has. Didn't even tell me about it. Mm -hmm. But the best thing is, is that I got David Cassidy in, so uh. that's the best news. And um, can we just say big, big thank you for Nick Hayward for dropping by, because he was fab. Yeah. And, um, well, it is a shame, but we're going to see you soon, aren't we? Well, I certainly hope so. I'll yeah. be back, uh, I think, probably in the autumn, and then uh, I'm... I'm booked in, since I've done this show, I'm booked in on all of your other shows. So. <laughs> and you'll be booked in to come on the sofa again, please. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll certainly try and do that. Um, <laughs> Richard will be back with Jules next weekend, of course, starting Ooh. Saturday morning at 10 o'clock. And if you stick around with VH1 right now, you can catch Bob Mills with another 10 video selection in 10 of the Best. I did that show. Yeah. Yeah, today, all with the theme of Elvis. Did you have fun doing that show? I Actually, I loved it, yeah. I picked uh, 10 of the first... 20 videos that they showed. Oh. <laughs> no, no, it's I did, hard, it's hard I did to like choose. Doing it. It's hard to choose because there have been thousands of good ones. Well, thank you. Thank you for coming well, in thank today. You. Thank really, you uh, so much. I've enjoyed it and let's hope we've created a bit of a stir. Exactly. Anyway, uh, thank you all for uh, coming to see me in Blood Brothers yeah. and everything. I've had a great time. I miss you. I hope you have a great year. And uh, I'll come back and do this again sometime. Please, yeah, please, thanks. I can't wait. Um, guess what? We're going to leave you with some UB40, but you can't wait for this one. See you next week. Have a good one. Bye. See ya.